all this just to change the recoil. And one of the problems with this recoil too is I paid, oh there's a bolt right there. There's four bolts when this one only had three originally. However, as I was saying, the one problem with this recoil is, is the fact that, you know, in order to fix these, you've got to pretty much dismantle five bolts. I dropped one. Oh my God, dude, this one's stuck up in here. So you got to pretty much dismantle this whole machine. This is a Craftsman, by the way, 2000, 2200i, and I'm changing the recoil because this one, this one, it was supposed to be a quick fix. I thought something just came disconnected or the handle just broke, but this middle part right here, all the plastic pieces are completely destroyed. There is nothing left in there. Now, to be honest, the spring, spring's still good in there. Everything else is good in there, but this recoil is useless because these little plastic pieces are broken. Now, this generator's been used a shit ton, and... One of the main problems is, is normally because you got to do so much work and it takes so long. This is a hundred dollar job here, but I noticed, and I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to get this. If you have a Craftsman, or it'll probably work because this looks just like the Predator 2000, damn near identical. If you guys are interested, I will have a link in the description, and I will. But this is a fifty dollar part. So, 50 plus 150 dollars just to change the recoil. But this is a business, so I'm giving them a bit of a discount. 70 dollars labor, 50, 130, 120, something like that. But um, if you guys are wondering why it doesn't have the handle attached, it's because they know you have to feed the handle through this hole here in order to put it on. So I can put this original handle back on, but I'm not going to. I'm just, I think the one that they provided is a lot nicer. So I like that. I just think it's silly, all the stuff we have to go through to get there. But I can't show you how I got here because I didn't record it, but I'm going to show you where I go from here. First things first, I got to find my knife. So to be honest, I think we can start by putting the recoil on first rather than taking the old one off and cutting it and doing all that fun stuff. We can actually just put this one on first. And I gotta remember, I believe it's gonna go out. Let me see here. It's gonna go out the other side. So this pull part, if you're looking at it from the front, not the muffler, sorry for the shake. If you're looking at it front, it's gonna go on the left side on this one in particular. So it's gonna pull upwards like this. So just gonna go in there just like that. So that's what we're going to do. So like I said, this one came with, I believe, two of these silver bolts and three of these black bolts. I'm not going to use them because they're 10 millimeter and it doesn't matter what size they are. But I figured it's just perfectly fine to use these 8 millimeters, the original ones that came with, or the 5 sixteenths, whatever you guys prefer to say. But I think we're just going to use the original ones. It's not really going to hurt it or damage it. Matter of fact, some people prefer it because this is an aftermarket. And these are OEM. I don't think the bolt quality makes a difference. It wasn't the bolts that broke. It was the plastic. But Craftsman nowadays is all aftermarket anyways, really. I mean, it doesn't matter because there's a lot of expensive stuff that comes from overseas that people always overlook alpine inverters wall bro carburetors that everybody loves so much and i know more and more like my videos they're getting a little more ranty it's because a lot of this does suck you know people don't tell the truth about it i mean look at i look at the comments every day it's like Man, dude, that thing was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was putting that piece of crap back on. I'm glad your videos helped me. It's like, yeah, man, you know how much I had to edit out me throwing a fit, giving the old hoopla, and and I'm not taking off. I just dropped that bolt down. And look how much sand is in here. Jesus. I know I need better lighting. I'm going to get it eventually. But, you know, there's a truth to being a mechanic that being a mechanic sucks sometimes. So I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's hard to get motivated. 
I mean, if it's your lifeblood and you're doing it for work, yeah, I understand. I'm not 100% in dire straits. I've had this for a week. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video, and I'm just going to tell... I'm just going to hand start them right now. That's why I'm not using a ratchet or the impact. I tell the truth now. You know, there's no point to sugarcoat it and think that small engine repair is all sunshine and rainbows. You can watch anybody. And they like to tell you, too. You know, everybody will talk crap about aftermarket and stuff, and... I don't. I love aftermarket. I'm a big aftermarket fan. <laughs> Cheaper and easier and every time. I would say I've never really had a customer that says OEM only. You know. Yeah, I've never had that customer. I don't know where everybody's getting these customers that are saying, oh, you ain't putting nothing from China on my machine. I'm like, bro, you have a steel. Everything on your steel is made from China. Your big wall broke carburetor that you love so much, made in China. You know, what does that have to do with the quality of the product? I do understand that some people believe that, you know, it's cheap knockoffs. And sometimes they are, but I've never had a problem. But I think everything's going to work just fine on this, and this thing's going to be good until something goes critically wrong. With this machine and it is no longer repairable this is technically my second time fixing this machine not the recoil first time i had to clean the carburetor i think i actually put a new carburetor on this i think i might have a video on that i don't remember i have a lot of videos but yeah so second time fixing this machine technically he's a good customer perfect i'm gonna use a hand wrench now that I got them all in there nice and tight by hand, now I'm just going to go down and torque them down a little bit. Not too tight. You don't want to break anything or strip anything or destroy anything. Just a little past hand tight on all three of them. Like I said, we're going to make this nice and easy here. I'm going to plug this gas tank back into these holes here. Everything looks tight right there. I'm going to pull this all around. Like I said, I'm not going to use these bolts here that came with it. I'm going to save them. I can use them for something later. You never know when you're going to need a 10 millimeter. Now we got to put all this elect electrical and this heat sink back into this. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing, I did not want to take it apart even more. Because you got to take a lot to get to where you're at, where I'm at now. So I think what I, what I was doing is I was just bending this out of the way to get this thing back in or to get this thing out of here and that's what we're going to do to get it back in and like i said you know i'm going to show you the truth i think it's better just to explain because a lot of people want to get into this industry and i'm telling you with the power of editing and a lot of these youtubers you know they don't show you if they made a mistake first and why would they want to admit that or would they want to admit that, hey, I wasted my time? And don't get me wrong, there's probably some YouTubers out there that do do that. God, this is so dark. I'm so sorry, guys. This is probably the worst video ever. And I understand if you're not even watching now. I am going to spend my next big investment on new lighting for you guys. And for everybody else. Because um, it's almost winter time. Which means it's about to get dark again at 6 o'clock. Which always sucks because it was sunny. It's still bright outside now and it's 7.30 my time. And right now, I'm holding that in Why I screw that in. I don't believe I disconnected any electrical components. I did not have to. I simply unscrewed everything that needed to be unscrewed. And it's simple as that. This is going to go back on just like that. I believe I didn't even have to unscrew this part, but I did. And now let me see if I can't get you into a little better light. And I'll show you the most important part of this repair here in a second. Which is putting the recoil back on. So beautiful. We're going to cut the old cord off. Throw that away. Now from here, we'll grab our cord. Pull it out. Feed it through the back until it pops out this hole here. Now from here, we'll undo this knot. Actually, you know what? Just to be safe, we'll keep that knot in there. 
I don't want to have people unscrew it first. So we're going to put the handle on. See, just in case it slips out of your hand like it's slipping out of mine. If it goes all the way back in, you won't lose it and have to take off that recoil again. Now from here, you're going to slip it through here. <coughs> Excuse me. Slip it through the handle. Tie one more knot. Just like that. Put that in there. Put that piece in there. And now we'll pull it out. And now we will undo this knot. This way it can't slip out and go all the way back in. And they did put an easier knot to undo because there wasn't a knot like that. It was like a slip knot. But when I was pulling it to show you. See, there we go. Now we just screw back together and you're done. Sorry for the little ranty video today. I just wanted to show you that it's easy. I probably have a video or two taking these apart. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You just sandwich it back together and screw everything back in and you're done. Easy as pie. But customer's going to be happy. $130 repair. And let me know down in the comments, what's the worst generator you hate working on? What's the worst repair you hate doing? But you do it because it's good money and it's relatively simple once you've done it enough. Anyways, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll catch you on the next one.